Oh, look at that. We got two. So as you can see, this trap doesn't just catch one mouse, but it catches multiple mice. It's self-resetting. He climbs across here, and once he gets across here, because he smells the peanut butter, which is inside the top of the tube there, his body weight gets to this side, and the tube tips down, and he falls in because it's all slippery in here. In fact, he doesn't even get the chance to sample the peanut butter that's up there. Super easy to take off and clean. You just squeeze it together and take it off, and then you just rebate it by putting a little bit of peanut butter on the inside. And it can be set up two ways. It's either capture release or you can put two inches of water in the bottom of the bucket and it becomes lethal. So let me show you how to make one of these. And before I forget, any of the tools we use today will be in the description below. So first get yourself a two by four and cut a piece that's four and a quarter inches long. And now measure and find the center on both ends. Now take your square and use the 45 degree part and make a line right through the center of your mark. Now take your hacksaw and cut a groove in the wood about an eighth of an inch deep. Start at one end and slowly flatten it out so it follows the line. Now get a couple of screws and two quarter inch washers and lay it on top here. The center hole should be just up to the line and mark it. And then just drill a pilot hole in the center so that the screw when we put it in it doesn't wander. Now get yourself a coat hanger and get your cutters and cut a half an inch up on each end. Now measure up five inches from each end and cut. And now take your coat hanger pieces and slide it underneath the washer along the groove that we cut and leave about a quarter of an inch at the bottom right here and point this piece towards the center of the block and tighten it down. Now find yourself a two liter pop bottle like this. So on these bottles, there's a line molded right into the plastic. So take your measuring tape and measure from there up the bottle six inches, make a mark, and then take a pair of scissors and cut the top of the bottle off and the bottom off on this line right here. So have a close look at this piece and you'll notice that there's two lines that are molded right into the plastic, one here and one on the opposite side. So measure down those lines at two and a half inches and make a mark. Now take a drill bit that's bigger than the coat hanger and drill the two holes. And now give it a test fit. And you'll notice that once this is in, there's a bit of a gap here right at the back. So what we want to do is just loosen our screws a bit and adjust the rods up a little bit. So I adjusted it and now it's just perfect. Now get a couple of screws like this that are about an inch long. And now flip it over and about a half an inch in right in the center, put one of the screws and then take the other screw and put it right in the center on the rear. All of these buckets have got a nice edge on them and it's perfect for that screw to hook on underneath and that's what holds it on the bucket. So if you have to, just take your screwdriver and adjust it up or down to get the fit just right. Now just get yourself a rag and cut a length of material that goes from there to the ground and hook it on to that screw. The mice will easily climb up here to get to the peanut butter. And to encourage them, just get a little bit of peanut butter on the tip of your finger and put it on a couple of spots on this rag. And then get about that much peanut butter and smear it on the inside, on the top, and that's all you need. And if you put too much peanut butter here, you'll know right away because the trap won't reset. So we have our trap ready and we're ready to go, but there's one thing I should mention. You may not be aware, but most mice are Cirque du Soleil mice. They can jump to great heights and they have no problem getting out of this bucket. But I have a solution to that. These Home Depot buckets are cheap, so all I did was I got one and I cut the bottom out of it. That way I can put it inside and stack it up and it's even higher. And I found that they can even jump out of two of these buckets stacked. So what I did in my case is I put a little blob of peanut butter in the very bottom. And when I came out the next day and it was gone, I knew that they were falling in there and they were still getting out. So in my case, I got a third bucket and I put it in and then they weren't able to escape. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we caught last night. There it is right in the corner. I put it up against the wall so that uh, anything that's going along the perimeter here will go in. Oh, look at that. We got two of them. Oh, it worked really well.
Well, I hope this video has helped. If it did, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time.